Hey, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this week's reading, I am using one of my new favorite decks. It's called the Wandering Star Tarot. All right. So my intention with this reading, I'm going to draw three cards. And each card is going to represent a portion of the upcoming week. And my intention is to get some ideas, some insights, some wisdom for the week ahead. And I am joined by my girl, my kitty cat, Merlina. She's, uh, she's sawing logs right next to me. <laughs> she's already been sleeping for like 10 hours. <laughs> as cats usually do. All right, so let's dive in, let's get started. So the first card is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. All right, so here we have the Page of Pentacles. And the keywords on this card, um, that's what I love about this card is there's, all kinds of keywords or this deck has all kinds of keywords on all the cards so the keywords are talent talent skill money talent skill money okay so the pages i always think of the pages they're they're the youngest characters uh, out of all the court cards we've got pages knights kings and queens and pages are young, they're youthful, they're students, they're learning, they're just kind of getting things figured out. And the suit of pentacles is the physical suit in the tarot. We've got four suits. We've got pentacles, cups, wands, and swords. And pentacles are earthy. So this has to do with the, the earthy realm. And as the card says, it relates to money and our talents and our skills around earning a living, making money, and providing the necessities of life for ourselves. And at the beginning of the week will be opportunities to learn about how to get better at doing this, how to really flex your talents, how to tap into some of your skills, like existing skills that you already have, but also learning and gaining new skills when it comes to to earning money and, and providing for yourself. But I also feel like this card goes beyond that. This isn't just about money and work and stuff like that. It's also about your relationship to your body and how grounded and connected you are to the earth and, and the physical dimension of life. So learning about how to really be in your body how to take pleasure in physical things, how to really ground yourself in a way that feels really, really good. Okay, uh, that is the secret to success this week, <laughs> is really being present in your body and, and grounding your energies. As we move into the middle of the week, we have the Empress. She's a major arcana card. And I love how she's come right after I said all that stuff about being in your body and grounding because she is all about that. She's all about loving the, she's all about loving your body and, and loving just being on earth and, and eating and all those kinds of sort of earthly, earthly delights. So her keywords are luxury, beauty, harmony, abundance, grace, fertility, love, nature, and art. So lots of good stuff here. The Empress is, um, she, she's an absolute, um, I was going to call her a master. She's a mistress. She's a mistress of being at ease in the world and being at ease in her body and being able to really go with the flow and accept things as they are and allow things to unfold without interfering too much. And this is actually really hard to do. So this is a tricky thing to be, uh, I mean, it's, it's easy to, 
go with the flow and allow things to unfold when everything is going well for you and everything is going great. But when things aren't going great, this becomes really difficult. And the Empress, um, she's, she's advising us all to get out of our own way and that by relaxing into things and allowing certain allowing people to be allowing the people in your life to be as they are don't try to change them don't try to tell people how they should be and you may not tell people how they should be but maybe you're thinking it maybe you're like oh the world would be a better place if this person and this person were different um, and the Empress is saying, uh, uh, that, that is a waste of mental energy. Everything is as it should be. Allow things to unfold and really kind of revel in the, I want to say like hedonistic kind of pleasures. The Empress is very good at, at taking pleasure in being in a physical body and seeing beauty around her, like really noticing beauty wherever you are and and be open to the fact that beauty can be found in unexpected places and it's not always you know flowers and sunshine and butterflies that are beautiful there's other things that you may not think of as beautiful but this is about being able to see the beauty and the perfection and everything okay let's look at uh, well, let's recap. <laughs> so page of pentacles was about being in your body and really grounding, grounding your energies. So what can you do this week that would help you ground your energies? Personally, I have certain meditations I do. I like to exercise that really helps me ground. Um, and having like healthy food, healthy meals is really grounding for me. And the Empress is about relaxation. How can you relax more. How can you, and once you are relaxed, how can you relax even more? What will help you do that? It could be an affirmation, a, a way of looking at things. It could be, you know, hot baths and candles or whatever. <laughs> There's lots of different ways to, to relax. Let's look at the last card. This last card is for the uh, end of the week. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And here we have Ace of Wands. The keywords on this card are career, beginnings, and travel. So I feel like the f most of the week is about connecting with your body, connecting with the earth, and attempting to achieve a certain state of relaxation. If you're able to do that, the Ace of Wands to me looks like an opportunity. There's something that happens when we connect with ourselves physically and when we truly relax, certain opportunities will open up and we'll notice things that we wouldn't otherwise notice if we're in this like tense, kind of physically disconnected state. So Ace of Wands represents an opportunity. It can come as an idea, as someone offering something or suggesting something. It's a chance for a new beginning and to explore a new path. Um, the keywords career and travel are interesting. It could be a chance to explore somewhere new, to travel somewhere new. Uh, it could be career opportunities, but, but don't limit yourself to those things. This is, this is about, Ace of Wands is about inspiration, uh, being inspired and getting an idea for something. Um, but it's also a card of ascension. If you look at the, um, it actually makes me think of like kundalini energy. If you think of the this tree trunk as being like your spine and the kundalini snake going up through all the chakras, um, that's, that's kind of what it makes me think of. Um, so this sort of like energetic uh, ascension. So moving onward and upward and finding kind of a higher state of experiencing things. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at all of these cards together. And as always, like I invite you to share your own ideas and your insights that you might have about these cards in the in the comment section below. Um, I feel like at the beginning of the week, this is a time, and I'm I'm looking at the page of Pentacles and how she's holding the Pentacle. It's like you're um, if you're able to hold yourself and soothe yourself, you'll be able to ground your energy. 
And once your energy is grounded, that's going to allow you to open your eyes and perceive things differently and move through the world, move through your life with more confidence, more self-assuredness. And then with the Empress, uh, she's reminding you to see beauty in everything and to relax. Don't try to fix things. Don't try to fix people. Don't try to fix situations. Um, this is only going to bring a sense of exhaustion. Um, and this, and I think sometimes we think well, if we're not trying to fix something, it means we don't care. Um, but no, it, it, sometimes what I'm getting from this card is this is about being able to respect those around you enough to allow them to unfold and grow in their own time without you kind of interfering. And the same, it, it also goes for how we treat ourselves sometimes. Sometimes we think, oh, I'm not good enough. I need to change this about me. I need to do that. I need to be more productive, etc., etc. The Empress is telling us all to just take a big chill pill this week. And once we do, things shift. Our energy changes. And when your energy changes, new opportunities kind of pop into the foreground and um, you know, new ideas pop into your head when you when you change your energy because it's like changing the station on a radio. Think of it, think of it that way. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I've got tons of really fun tarot learning re resources on there for you to check out. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and leave me a comment. And uh, I hope you have a wonderful week.